Hey guys, I'm Zeta Sage Plays, and today we're going to be attempting to recreate the mystical forest from Pixar's amazing new film, Turning Red. So I saw it a couple of days ago, I really enjoyed it, and there's some scenes in the film that take place in a forest where the spirits of the red pandas live, and as soon as I saw it, I knew I wanted to try and make it in Planet Zoo. It's going to be quite tricky. Being Pixar, of course, it looks amazing. The action takes place in a clearing in a forest of giant bamboo, and it's full of mist and lights and leaves and lit with this ethereal light, and that is what I'm going to try and recreate here. Using the in-game lighting engine, loads of different in-game lights, the special effects and of course lots and lots of bamboo so I've put the clearing in and we're just putting in the bamboo pieces now that little red box is my substitute panda for the moment and then I'm gonna to need to make a custom bamboo because they are absolutely huge um, and there's nothing in the game like that so I'm just using a couple of different bamboo pieces and one of the other trees all copied on top of each other to get something that looks as close to the film as I can and then this will be copied about a million times all the way around the forest. It's gonna be a really small build, literally just this clearing, and then enough bamboo surrounding it to give the impression of a giant forest when it's, uh, when it's all done. In the film, the scenes in the forest take place at night, under a blood red moon but via the magic of Pixar it's as bright as daytime loads of green and blue lights how they make it nighttime but not dark I don't know but that is the uh, the genius of Pixar it's proved to be very very difficult to replicate that in Planet Zoo potentially impossible maybe somebody better than me can do it I'll be interested to see I'm gonna film this in daytime and then use loads of the in-game lights and about a thousand huge mist special effects to darken everything up so that the end result looks as close to the film as possible. Now if you're asking yourself why I created all the bamboo sticks and then one tree and then copied the tree on top of the sticks I have no idea. <laughs> that took longer than it should do but um, I got there in the end. Now on to all the special effects that are going to start to turn this into a mystical forest. So I'm using the huge mist effect, placing that absolutely everywhere and at loads of different heights as well. So I'm putting it on the backs of loads of the bamboo sticks as well as on the floor so that we get a wall of mist that's going to completely encircle the clearing and give it the mystical forest vibe that I'm going for. I'm also going to use a lot of the falling leaves effects because there's leaves swirling around all over the place in the film and then some of the in-game lights as well to give the greeny blue tint to everything. This was a real struggle. The lights in the game don't really work alongside the actual lighting engine in the game. I think all they do is sort of paint color onto wherever the light is pointing rather than actually send out any sort of light rays or anything like that. So it's really hard to get it to create the color that you want without just making everything bright green <laughs> um, or bright blue or whatever. So this was a bit of a struggle but I definitely got something that looks pretty cool in the end but it's not as close as I would like it to be to the actual film. I'll leave it up to you to decide how close I get it in the cinematics at the end. And speaking of the end we are almost at the end of this build so just a few adjustments to these lights to get some of the colours in that I want and then a few more bits of bamboo um, putting some more of these trunks in you can see the lighting starting to look really good there already so a few final bits of planting and things like that to bring this forest to life and then put some null barriers in to keep this little panda where I want him to be we're in sandbox mode so I can just turn off escapes and he will happily wander around within the null barriers without going anywhere and then it's time to add the red panda um, and that is the build so stick around for the cinematics and check out the turning red forest thanks for watching as always subscribe if you enjoyed this and i'll see you soon